Hello friends. How are you? I am in a lovely garden of these roses. I'm in a lovely garden of roses right now, if you couldn't tell. Today is the long-awaited video, at least for me. I it's you guys haven't been waiting for it, I don't think. I sometimes will show you guys here and there when I get packages from Dolls Kill, which is quite often. And I'm always like, I need to do a try-on haul. I need to do like a collective try-on haul, like two or three of the packages, and just show you guys what everything looks like on. It's so much better to see it on someone rather than just being like, these are my pants. You can't really tell what they are, but here we are. We got a little bit of a professional setup today because I am in a studio. studio. Apparently this room has surveillance. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. I can just like try on all the clothes. It'll be super quick. It says like, do not change in the room, change in the makeup room because there's surveillance in here. So I'm like, great. I have to walk back and forth like a thousand times. Then I'm doing it for you, okay? I rented out a studio for you. This room is supposedly soundproof, so I probably could be talking louder, but I feel scared because I feel like someone's listening. Okay, was that intro long enough for you? Or should we keep talking about things that are not the point of this video? Let's just get right into this little try-on haul from Dolls Kill. There's also a couple items, not from Dolls Kill, that I actually just got yesterday, and to be honest, I haven't tried them on yet because I got them from Target, and I never try things on at Target. In fact, I never try things on in stores in general. I just don't, I don't go to clothing stores. I don't, in no particular order because I have everything folded up on a chair next to me. This first top, it is the Horoscopes brand from Dolls Kill. Well, as you can see, it has the yin and yang. Some people say yin and yang, some people say yin and yang. Comment below what you say. Super cute, it has this little zipper with a little hole in it. And I'm, side note, I'm gonna link everything below unless for some reason it's not on the site anymore. By the way, this video isn't sponsored. Did I say that in the beginning? Isn't sponsored. None of the links are affiliate. I sometimes do sponsored stuff with Dolls Kill, but it's usually always on Instagram. I just figured this would be fun to show you because I don't post all of the clothes that they give me because they do send me so many. Probably should have said this in the beginning. But yeah, this video, not sponsored. They did not ask me to do this. So this is just for fun. Next up, we have this adorable set. I almost wore this in Vegas, but it was too see-through and I didn't really plan ahead and bring something to wear underneath it. So, but it's just this little top. It's like netted, fish netted kind of, and then it laces up. And then the matching skirt, just a tight midi skirt. It has a tie at the top. This skirt is, this is actually too big for my waist. It doesn't look the best on me because I don't want to pull it down like over my hips because then it just makes me look like a square. It's whatever, it's still really cute. Um, I need to find an occasion to wear this too. And also like, what should I wear under this? Next we have another little two piece set. By the way, I haven't tried this one on yet, so hopefully it fits. <laughs> this is the top. It's crop top, really cute, like puffy sleeves. It reminds me of Deb's dress from Napoleon Dynamite. I like your sleeves. Um, and then it ties right here. And then the matching pants, they're high-waisted. Okay, again, the waist looks big in these. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. I really don't know how this is gonna look. The concept of it is cute, so hopefully it looks good on my body. out if the top is too big or too small it's like the shoulders are definitely too big but also like my boobs are literally about to fall out i had to tighten this way more than i think you're supposed to these are definitely supposed to be high listed but they can't be on me it might i don't want my freaking nipple to pop out it might shrink when i wash it but i think it's so cute like if i could tape the top to my boobs it'd be perfect because i think it's so cute Okay, here's where things start making no sense as far as order goes. I actually bought this myself from Dolls Kill. I really wanted these, and since I don't get sent this brand, which is Rip and Dip, I just went ahead and they were having a, I think it was like 20% off clearance sale, and both of these shirts went on clearance, and I am obsessed. So anyway, this is a medium, because I think this is the only size they had left, but it's literally just a naked girl on a pillow, and it says Rip and Dip, <laughs> and then the back, I don't, this is so funny to me. A cat sitting on a recliner with a human napping on his lap. You can't tell me that this is not like the best thing ever. Another rip and dip shirt. The front is just basic purple and like grungy as a pocket. This one's a small, but again, they're like super oversized. The back is just this cat holding the world and it's surrounded by peaches and apples. I, I'm sure this is like some famous piece of artwork that I don't know. 
probably should have looked that up before, but either way, hello. The next t-shirt that I got is everything. A lot of my audience is like late 20s, early 30s. So first of all, hi. I love that I don't have like a little kid audience because that would be so much pressure. I'm assuming most of you know who this is, girl. <laughs> it says, with this outfit and this hair, hello, bye-bye. I am so at the mall. Next amazing outfit from Dolls Kill. This was sent to me a while back and I never ended up getting a photo in it. It's essentially a space suit, but not really. It's like, I know there's a name for it. I can't remember. Can you even hear me talking over this? How freaking cute. This is the top, obviously. I need somewhere to wear these to. Like maybe if I had gone to Snow Globe or something. I don't know. But this is from the brand Capsule. When I saw this, I was like, oh, it's like a snowsuit. And then I felt it and I'm like, oh, this is really thin. You could, you would have to wear so many layers, but I was sweating in there. I feel like it's kind of like that same material as like marathon blankets or like the firefighter blanket. I'm literally cooking in this. This is actually an incubator. Oh, this is so cute though. You know this is so cute. I haven't tried this on yet. I feel like it's not going to be a dress on me, but it probably have to be a bathing suit cover up. This could be really good because I'm going to South Padre Island this week. It's Saturday. I'm going next week. This little knit crocheted, I'm not sure, it probably looks crocheted dress with these cute little like off the shoulder sleeves and then this tie and see it's like a dress but like look how tiny this is it literally doesn't even cover my vagina so yeah this would have to be a cover-up i feel like the model wearing it was zoe and zoe is 5'2 so that makes sense i'm five six. i don't really wear red i have like one red shirt but i just don't think i look very good in red i think i brought this just to wear in case i needed like a quick shirt to put on though this is not quick because you have to zip it up so that was stupid this is actually from doll scale too though so i got this when i shot for rehab last summer i took like a bunch of the clothes with me they let me head into them. rehab is sold at doll scale and so cute and then the last pants from doll scale i'm obsessed i actually showed these in my last vlog for a second but i still haven't tried them on yet so i'm really excited i hope they fit they are so cute they're so like 90s style britney spears music video like 2001 but i really hope these fit me okay i'm a little worried about like the butt situation it looks like there's not like much room for a butt so it might like flatten me out let's hope it doesn't these are two things that i'm going to show i'm definitely not going to try this on you can even tell what that is i might try this one i've tried it on in my apartment before and it's a little too small for me i think it's just because i'm too tall for it which is kind of odd because i have like a pretty short torso but also i have pretty big boobs and a butt so I, in hindsight i probably should have gotten a medium but this is sugar thrills one of their popular brands and it's just this freaking adorable like literally are you fucking kidding me and then look at the back look at the back look at the back there's a little bow on the butt i'm gonna say i might not try this on while i'm here i might do it when i get home so if that's the case sorry that you're seeing like my messy apartment and it's like not very good lighting just because ever since i found out that there's surveillance in here i like feel very weird about wearing like nothing this i already was like i don't even think i should wear that on camera now i'm definitely not going to but i will put a photo of the model wearing it also i'm not even sure how to put this on but it'll make sense when you see the photo but this is what it looks like when you get it in the package it's like three separate things. Basically, it ends up being like a, a nipple cover, another nipple cover, and then these are the bottoms. But like they're little conversation hearts and they say things like, call me, kiss me, be mine, fuck me, get naked, quickie, stuff like that. So the rest of the things are from Target. I just got them a couple days ago. Oh, actually this sweatshirt is from Target. It's the Wild Fable brand. You're not gonna get a fancy try on for this one since I'm already wearing it, but it like has these cool seams. I got a medium in it so that it would be oversized on me. I was actually gonna wear a tank top while I was filming this part because I didn't think this would look good on camera. It honestly like does it? Probably not, but it's so comfy. Again, I haven't tried these on and that's why I'm kind of nervous because are they all pants? Yeah, they're all pants. I'm looking at these like why like where the fuck did I think I was gonna wear these to? Like what a business meeting? Maybe. No, but they're just like cropped. What is the word for these pants? I don't know. They're cinched at the waist though, so I'm hoping that I can make these fit my waist and then they're super like baggy and flowy. I got an extra small in these because I feel like that means the waist will be smaller. And since these are like oversized and they're supposed to be like baggy, ooh, there's pockets. They're like supposed to be baggy and flowy. Like if I were to buy like a tight fitting pair of pants from Target, I would probably get a small, I think. These are so freaking comfortable. I can't even get over it. Then I got these green cargo pants. These are cute. If they're supposed to be high-waisted, there's no way that this is supposed to be way too big for my waist, but it almost looks like they're not supposed to be high-waisted.
last thing are these i think they're high-waisted yeah high-rise shorts they're bermuda shorts though they remind me of either the good american high-rise shorts they were only 19 dollars i got a zero because looking at them it doesn't say they're like boyfriend fit or anything i don't know these might not fit to be quite honest because i looked at them and i was like oh yeah like those look baggy but i think they just looked baggy to me because they have holes in them i don't know i really don't know what size i am we'll see if these fit i mean you're probably seeing right now so <gasps> Was my dick showing that whole time? I'm so sorry if that's offensive to you. Well, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you like this type of video, if you prefer it over vlogs, or if you like both. The last try-on video I did was the Wild Fable try-on. That was like last summer. That one did really well. Got like half a million views. Do you like seeing how they fit different bodies? Like, do you ever watch a try-on video or like a haul and then you're like, oh my gosh, I need to buy that. And then you go buy something. I'm gonna wrap this up now so I can go try on all these clothes because I still have to that also so i know i didn't poop today because i was so rushed this morning so i'm like really bloated so i have a feeling that some of this stuff isn't even gonna fit or look good right now so don't judge me if i look pregnant thanks for watching bye i should take an instagram photo in front of this and be like mm -hmm, just at the at the at the cast wait buckingham palace is that where they have the roses we're painting the roses red painting the roses red we're painting the roses red anyway thanks for coming to my fashion show